Hi guys, found this, uh, it's the remains of a relay um, in my junk box, obviously broken, and I was looking at it today, wondering whether I could do anything with it. I don't know if you can see, but the wires don't actually go anywhere, there's one of the wires. Might just be able to see that on the camera. And then the other wire is just on the end here. So they're really tiny little lengths of wire to try and solder onto. But I'm going to see if I can solder some slightly thicker wire onto them and see if I can actually make use of this coil. Uh, not quite sure what to use it for, but it seems too useful to throw away. So that's my little tester today, see if I can actually manage to solder some wire onto there and then make use of it. Right, first thing we'll try and do is see if we can tin the end of the magnet wire. Absolutely no idea whether this will work, but the theory is you put a ball of hot solder on the end and the insulation on the magnet wire disappears because it's too thin to try and scrape it and a really awkward bit so I'm trying to do this so the camera can see what I'm doing so I'm not actually looking through the lens that just looks like it's going black I guess the only way I'll know if I've actually got any solder on the end there is to try and connect it to another piece of wire I so say, you've got a better view than I have, because I actually can't really see what I'm doing. Is to have taken. So we'll very carefully rearrange and try and do the other wire. Clean ball of solder. Other bit of wire up. And that appears to have gripped as well. So, how do we test it? Right, before I do anything else, I'm going to try and put some hot glue on there to hold the wires in place to support them. burn my fingers as well while I'm at it. But obviously those small wires have got no strength at all, so I want to try and avoid stressing them at all. Okay, just to demonstrate whether it works or not, make sure that we're open, touch the battery on, there we go, so it's working. Obviously it's no good as a, a relay because we've lost all the contacts from this area and there's no spring effect on it so it's not um, opening again when we release the current. But it does mean that I should be able to make use of the coil for something. Maybe a pulse motor or something like that. Anything that needs 
to be attracted or repelled from a magnetic field. So I'm quite pleased with that. All I've got to do now is think of something to do with it. Let's demonstrate it doing something. This is one of those executive toys that I've used before, or similar. All it is is it's a, well this is actually a dolphin, and it's balanced with a couple of metal balls here, and it's got very pointy feet, so it rocks very easily. I've put the uh, coil close to it, just a bit in front of it, so if I pulse the current at the right speed, Obviously I could build a little bit of circuitry that does the pulsing for me. Something like a 555 timer and a capacitor and a resist variable resistor. And we'd be able to set that up so it keeps going. So there you go. A salvaged coil from a broken relay, successfully soldered onto that hair thin wire, and we're running it, uh, what do we call this, a rocking dolphin it actually is. So there you go, just a bit of fun.